As people storm the grocery stores amidst a crisis, one item that has been flying off the shelves is about as basic as it gets – good old bread. Why is it that any hint of disaster has us feeling the need to stock up on this one particular staple? Hey, you got bread, bro? Give me that bread, bro! So, what can you do if you've succumbed to pandemic panic and filled your cart with bread? Whether or not you're quarantined due to coronavirus, are you really going to be able to eat all that bread before it gets stale or moldy? Because it will, unless you take certain precautions to keep your bread fresh. For one thing, did you know that you really shouldn't be storing bread in the refrigerator? Yep, it turns out that refrigerating bread actually speeds up the process of it going stale. All the moisture from the bread's inside moves to its outside, making the interior tough while the crust gets limp and soggy. Instead, what you should be doing is taking out any bread that you think you'll be able to eat in a few days and then wrapping that bread in plastic and storing it on the counter away from any direct sunlight. The rest of the bread? Freeze it. Bread stands up quite well to a sojourn in the freezer. Oh, and just so you'll know before your next panic bread buying binge, the greatest thing since sliced bread is, well, unsliced bread. This stuff has a much longer shelf life. Just be sure not to eat all of it at once. Not only does that kind of defeat the purpose of stockpiling, it won't exactly be good for your waistline either. Bread makes you fat. Bread makes you fat? Other pantry staples that are worth grabbing if you just want to keep a little extra on hand during trying times like these include rice, beans, and cereal. Bottled water may not be necessary, however. Even in countries hardest hit by coronavirus, we didn't hear too many reports of water being shut off, and the Environmental Protection Agency says that water supplies should not be affected, nor will they be infected. Should worse come to worst and you're late to the bread-buying party, remain calm. Try another aisle. How about tortillas? Are there any of those left in stock? You can always make wraps. Flour tortillas are traditional, but corn might make a tasty alternative. English muffin or bagel sandwiches are good, and hot dog or hamburger buns can be repurposed to house cold cuts or even peanut butter. Crackers are unconventional, but hey, you can experiment. You might even come up with something seriously good. Or how about pizza crust? You could pick up some unbaked pizza dough and use it to make your own calzones. Yet the other alternative is to go the low-carb route and give keto-friendly lettuce wraps a try. Yes, lettuce is perishable, but this means it's unlikely to sell out. Or at least should be back in stock before long since no one can hoard too many heads of romaine unless they want a nasty brown mess withering away in their fridge. Finally, you can always go full DIY and bake your own bread. Though this might come with a little bit of a learning curve, making your own bread without prior experience isn't the easiest undertaking. But hey, look at it this way. What with schools and workplaces closing down, bars and restaurants shutting their doors, and events of all kinds being canceled? Don't you now have a lot more time on your hands? Sure, you might make a few mistakes as you teach yourself the fine art of bread baking, but it's a good social distancing hobby and one that's unlikely to have too many long-term repercussions. As a bonus, the Journal of Positive Psychology, and couldn't we all just use a little of that right now, reports that cooking and baking are activities that can help to cheer you up. Just be sure you don't use too much yeast. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite food staples are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.